William Malton Marston was a psychological professor who taught at Harvard. He and his wife Elizabeth Holloway were working on an invention at Harvard, and they were in need of an assistant. Olive Byrne, one of Marston's students, got accepted as the new teacher's assistant, but unexpectedly, Marston began to love Olive. Elizabeth saw through it and tried to send Olive away, but she was shocked when she got to know that Olive has feelings for her. Ultimately, the three individuals formed a threesome relationship, and when this became obvious to everyone, the institution fired the three individuals. Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Mystery Recaps. Today we will recap a 2017 biographical drama movie named Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman. To know what happens later, keep on watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The movie begins with Marston delivering a lecture on his disc theory, with Elizabeth observing from the sidelines. Throughout the class, Marston is seen glancing at Olive, who is sitting in the audience. Following the lecture, as the couple is sitting out in the open, Marston reveals that Olive has been accepted as his new assistant and expresses his desire to study her. Elizabeth, with a hint of sarcasm, responds that she will not stand in the way if Marston wishes to have sex with Olive. In the next scene, Olive is seen examining a machine when Elizabeth approaches and explains that it is a lie detector, which she and her husband are working on, but currently it is not functioning. When Olive questions why it is not working, Elizabeth evasively responds and threatens her that if she'll have sex with Marston, Elizabeth will kill her. Upon learning about this, Marston feels pity for Olive and speaks with Elizabeth. He urges her to apologize to Olive. In a later scene, Elizabeth confesses to Olive that her actions were inappropriate and she's sorry. Olive, being a kind-hearted person, forgives her and expresses her desire to learn more about the human mind from them. She even compliments Elizabeth on her work. To diffuse the tension, the couple takes Olive to a bar for a drink, to ease the situation and get Olive back on track. Elizabeth questioned Olive about her feelings towards men, as they are typically seen as more powerful and prominent in society. Olive admitted that she does feel envious of men and quoted a statement from her aunt. Marston jokingly remarked, Your aunt, my dear, is quoting Margaret Sanger but was surprised when Olive revealed that Margaret Sanger was actually her aunt. As psychological and feminist observers, the couple expressed their admiration for Olive's aunt's work, but Olive made it clear that she did not have much of a relationship with her aunt and knew little about her. Olive also shared that her parents, who were also well-known feminists, had abandoned her as a child and she had been raised by nuns and lived in a church where every night they perform a ritual. Marston said that this ritual could help them with their studies, so he wants to see it. Olive aids the couple in sneaking into the church during the ceremony. She participates in the ritual. One of the girls makes a mistake, so his sister directs Olive to spank her 20 times. As directed by the sister, Olive asks the girl to get on her knees and bend. She starts striking her. Marston and Elizabeth observe silently from an upstairs balcony. Initially, the scene appears disturbing, but Marston becomes aroused and attempts to engage in inappropriate behavior with his wife, who stops him. The following day, in the lab, Marston asks Olive about her feelings during the spanking incident. Elizabeth interrupted, stating that these questions were unnecessary and that Olive was not obligated to answer them. Elizabeth then turned the question back on Marston, asking him about his own feelings during the incident. Marston responded by saying he felt a sense of fulfillment, pleasure, and excitement. Marston then asked Olive again how she felt while spanking the girl, and Olive responded that she felt ashamed and terrible. Marston did not believe her, calling it a lie and insisting on a different answer. What do you think? Was Olive telling the truth? If not, how did she feel? Let us know in the comments section. In a moment of frustration, Olive retorted that some thoughts are better kept to oneself and not meant to be shared. Suddenly, Elizabeth noticed that Olive's heart rate had increased when she lied, which led the couple to realize what they were missing in the lie detector machine. They realized that they could use the lie detector machine by measuring heart rate. Later at night, the three individuals tried the lie detector machine. They tested it on Marston while Elizabeth administered the questions. At first, the results were not accurate, but then Olive suggested that the question should be meaningful to Marston and pertain to something he would not want to talk about openly. As a result, Elizabeth began asking personal questions. This time, the results were accurate. Out of jealousy, Elizabeth asked Marston if he loved Olive. Marston said no, but the lie detector machine indicated that it was a lie. There was a brief period of silence around the room. After Elizabeth left the room, Olive followed her and confessed that she did not love Marston, but rather loved Elizabeth. Olive attempted to kiss Elizabeth, but before things could progress further, Elizabeth stopped her and told her to pack her bags. Later, during a lie detector test on Elizabeth, both she and Marston realized that they couldn't live without Olive. After the next lecture, delivered by Professor Marston, Elizabeth apologized to Olive and asked her to return. Olive happily accepted, and as a token of gratitude, she invited the couple on a picnic by the river with her fiancé. They played a game called, What Do I Long For?, where one person had to guess what the other was longing for. When Olive's fiancé was asked to guess about Olive, he stated that he believes she longs for Elizabeth's approval, which he didn't like. 
He said Olive is a pure-hearted person being influenced negatively by Elizabeth and Marston, and told her to stay away from them before leaving the site. Olive was frustrated and went to the couple that night, presenting herself for examination by the lie detector machine. When Marston asked Olive if she loved her fiancé, she said yes, but the machine indicated it was a lie. Marston then asked if she loved Elizabeth and him, to which she replied no, but the machine indicated it was a lie. Confused, Olive left and cried in the hallway. Elizabeth went to comfort her, and this time she kissed her willingly. That night, the three of them had a threesome, enjoying each other's bodies and sensations. A few days later, Olive's fiancé visited her at Harvard. At first, she was pleased to see him, but she was frightened when he informed her that everyone knew about her relationship with the couple and that he wanted nothing to do with her. The institution then informed the three that they were fired. Olive expressed her desire to stay with the couple, but Elizabeth, being the practical one, told her that it was not possible and that it would be best if the couple distanced themselves from Olive. Just as Elizabeth and Marston were about to leave, Olive revealed that she was pregnant with Marston's baby. After a brief argument, the three decided to live together. A few months later, the three were blessed with a baby. Soon after, they realized that in order to live together and receive societal approval, they would need to create a false story. They invented a story for Olive and continued with their lives. In a few years, both Elizabeth and Olive had sons. Over time, the three experienced passionate moments on and off. During this period, Marston came up with the idea of Wonder Woman, a strong and beautiful fictional character with exceptional abilities. Marston told Elizabeth and Olive that he wants to publish a comic book on Wonder Woman. Again, Elizabeth being the practical one, told him that this is not a good idea. Nevertheless, he went on with it and made a deal with a producer who helped him in producing the comic book. The comic book was a great hit, so they published several series of it. One afternoon, when a boy came home from school, after being badly beaten, his mother was terrified. Frustrated, Marston went to the front neighbor's house while they were watering their plants and accused their child of attacking his. The front neighbor apologized on behalf of her children and advised the three of them to remove their children from school. They were surprised, but before they could respond, the woman explained that she knew what they were and that it may be acceptable to them, but not to others. Elizabeth felt sad and started to walk home. As they were leaving, the front neighbor's husband swore and Marston couldn't bear to listen, so he approached him and they got into a scuffle before being stopped by the women. Later that night, Elizabeth spoke to Olive with a heavy heart, saying that their actions were wrong and that Olive should leave. Olive tried to reassure Elizabeth, saying everything would work out, but Elizabeth insisted she should go. The next morning, Olive left the house, causing sadness for the whole family. What do you think? Did Elizabeth do the right thing? Let us know in the comments section. Coming back, Marston's comic book series received backlash for using adult imagery, and he was called to testify about his fictional character, Wonder Woman. Marston defended his character, saying the only people with limited thinking would view her as a sexual symbol. Person questioning Marston made insulting comments about Marston's family, causing him to become angry and walk out. On his way down, he fainted and fell. As he was taken to the hospital, he saw flashbacks of him with Elizabeth and Olive. The following day in the hospital, Marston stood at the window, longing for Olive. Elizabeth told him that she wouldn't be coming, but Marston was sure that she would. Suddenly, Olive entered the room, and the couple stood there, watching her in shame. Marston asked Elizabeth not to interrupt, as he had something important to say to Olive. Marston told Olive that the doctors had said he had cancer, and only had a few days to live. He said to Olive that Elizabeth was wrong, that she still loved her and couldn't live without her. Elizabeth tried to stop him, but Marston insisted on what he said. He then asked Elizabeth to apologize to Olive. Marston talked some sense into her telling her that she shouldn't waste her life on societal approval, and she should live as she wants. He asked Elizabeth if she loved Olive, and Elizabeth, confused, said yes and apologized to Olive. However, Olive refused to come back. The couple then sat on their knees and asked Olive to let go of the past and come back to them. Olive stood there as the tears fell from her eyes, but finally she agreed. The three lovebirds looked at each other with smiles on their faces as they were reunited once again. In the final scene, Marston delivers a speech about Wonder Woman, describing her as a love letter, a fantasy from a distant land of beauty. He highlights Wonder Woman's ability to reform criminals and make them confess the truth to the world. Sadly, Marston passed away in 1947, while Elizabeth and Olive lived happily thereafter. So guys, that's it for today. Check out this video on the screen to watch this amazing movie recap. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon to never miss any exciting movie recaps.